NOTA founded the foundation back in 2005, and really NOTA has had an extraordinary career as a professional athlete, and he really wanted the opportunity to give back to Native American youth, and so he founded the foundation five years ago with his father. When we look at the epidemic of obesity and type 2 diabetes today, and we look 20 to 30 years from now, this is our future generation of leaders, and these very serious health issues are starting to claim our children now. The two sports that we focus on are, are soccer and golf, and really we look at those two sports, not just within the sports themselves, but really that each sport serves as a vehicle for change in these children's lives. We have a really strong commitment to developing the best uh, sports programs that we can to make sure that they're evidence-based and really producing measurable outcomes and really working to partner with tribal communities to build sustainable programming options for our children. The way that First Nations has really helped not only me but I think this organization is that we're very young. NOTA started this foundation in 2005 but made a very conscious choice back in, in 2009 to really hire full-time staff and really make a commitment to building this organization and that's when I came on board and it was just very comforting and it's been an amazing resource for us to be able to call upon First Nations for you know the base, most basic tech, technical assistance about how do we build an organization, you know, how do we build the best financial department manageable. Um, we're actually just getting ready to launch a small grant making program and they were the first people I called for guidance and can you tell me you know the pros and the cons of this and, and really that kind of institutional memory and track record there seems to be a very big commitment in terms of creating capacity for the development of, of more and more Native nonprofits because of you know, the great needs within our communities on a range of different issues. And I think that's what I, I, I find very um, exciting and also just something that has really drawn me to appreciate their work on such a deeper level is that there just is this real commitment to empowering Native people. We need capacity. You know, we need to bridge the resources and best practices and curriculum and programming and training to um, continue to build leadership and thought capital within these communities. And that's what to me is so innovative. They're not just putting grant dollars in. They're putting boots on the ground. NOTA always says that, look, we can fail. We can maybe not be very successful in our programs and do okay and maybe we'll end up closing up shop and we'll be okay, but it's these kids. These kids are counting on us.